Welcome to the fourth episode of If Object Show Hosts Were Charged for Their Crimes. I'm not gonna lie, the support I got on the first three episodes, which were originally the only ones I had planned, far exceeded what I thought would happen. Thank you all so much for that. Anyways, this part will explore the crimes of Airy from One. Keep in mind that this is a more story-driven show, so there will be spoilers for the series. It's a great show too, so I would recommend going and watching it first if you haven't already. As always, if you enjoy this video and want to see more like it in the future, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. And with that, let's dive in. Right from the very beginning, to get the initial six contestants for the show, Eri takes them away from whatever it is they were doing at the time, whether that be sleeping, biking, or arguing over the phone with an unknown person. This is a clear kidnapping charge, or six of them to be precise. Additionally, while setting up the first challenge, Eri accidentally kills Charlie, aka Tomato. Since Eri did not intend to kill Charlie, this makes this an involuntary manslaughter. The third and final crime for this episode is when Liam, aka Backpack, falls off of the pillar. He breaks his leg. If some kind of padding had been put there, this wouldn't have happened. Therefore, Airy is now liable for an OSHA violation. Next, we move on to episode 2, and the good news is that instead of trapping people in an elimination place, Airy just sends them home. The bad news is that after Tomato gets eliminated, six more contestants get teleported in. That would be six more counts of kidnapping. This arguably also counts as theft, since the objects that were teleported in this time were being used as objects by humans. In fact, I will count it as such. The contestants that join are airline food, base seat, contact lens, subway seat, tray, and whippy creamy. The combined price of these items in the real world is about $823, which means that under Virginia state law, he has committed the felony of petit larceny. Oh goody, even more counts of kidnapping. Six more to be exact. At least this is it. Surely there won't be more kidnapping charges in the future. We have to skip forward to episode 6 for the next crime that Eric commits. The challenge in this episode is to stay afloat, and Liam is unable to get his cast off before he gets teleported into the water. Despite the best efforts of Amelia, aka Senti, and Bryce, aka Soda Bottle, he ends up drowning. This counts as an involuntary homicide on Eric's part, since he warped Liam into the pool before he was ready. For the next crime, we have to move all the way to episode 12. Remember when I said there wouldn't be more kidnapping charges in the future? Well, here's the thing. Texty reveals to Liam and Bryce in this episode that the competition they were competing in wasn't actually the first competition that Aerie held. Six more people have been kidnapped for the actual first season, possibly more, but we only know about six of them for certain, so it can only add that many more charges. As if that wasn't enough, Airy gets in one more kidnapping charge in episode 16 by taking Bryce back to the plane in a rejoin. In episode 8, we learn that the original season didn't get to finish, but was cut short when Airy accidentally killed the five remaining contestants by crushing the plane with a rock. That's five counts of involuntary manslaughter since there's no way that was intentional. Finally, in the series finale, it's revealed that before Airy died, he had plans to create a third season, which would entail kidnapping six more people. That's six counts of conspiracy to kidnap, to cap off Airy's crimes. This definitely wasn't as many crimes as the last three hosts, but that's likely just due to one being a shorter show than the other two. Anyways, Aerie's sentence would amount to a total of 581 years in prison 
and a fine of $27,000. Pretty light on the fines compared to past hosts, to be honest. Bonus round. X from BFB. That's right. Since there weren't as many crimes this time, I'm making up for it by including another host. So let's dive in once again. X is such a nice little guy that they don't commit their first crime all the way until episode 10. In this one, they chase after Dave and enforce him into one of their... crevices? Pretty sure that this would count as forced imprisonment since David was unable to get out on his own. I also think that taking a sentient plant such as Flower and trapping her in a pot, which X does at the end of BFB 20, would also qualify as forced imprisonment since she is most likely immobile and has to be pushed around by her teammates. By BFB 22, however, Flower treats the pot as a part of her, so when X destroys it at 4's command, it counts as a destruction of property charge worth under $1,000, a class 1 misdemeanor. In BFB 28, Teardrop is unable to prove to X that she will not quit the show as part of the challenge a -thon. As a result, X decides to kill her. Since that was likely their plan if they failed the challenge in order to force the contestants to start over from the beginning, this is a first degree murder, which warrants the death penalty. Finally, in the very last scene of the season, X steals the propeller off of Fiery and Leafy's boat. A boat propeller would cost around $100, making this a petite larceny charge. Yeah, X only committed 5 crimes for the entire duration of BFB. I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda underwhelmed by the amount of crimes X actually committed. Like, not that it's a bad thing that they're not a criminal, but I was expecting a lot more given that a lot of people were recommending me to do X for a video. Kinda glad I didn't though, that would have been a waste of time. All of those put together amounts to one death sentence, four years in prison, and a $5,000 fine. Thanks for watching everyone, remember to subscribe with notifications on and I'll see you in the next video.